Welcome back to my channel, What in the World of Data. Here I'm going to give you the dark origins of seven classic nursery rhymes. So if you're new to my channel, please show some love by subscribing to my channel. If my tutorials were informative, please leave some more love by liking and commenting below so I will know which content to focus on and keep you coming back for more. So let's go. Considering that some of today's classic nursery rhymes are more than two centuries old, there are often several theories surrounding the origins, so let's dig into some of the gruesome and mysterious classic nursery rhymes. Number one, Mary Mary Quite Contrary. This popular English nursery rhyme, which reads like a solicitation for gardening advice, but is actually described a murderous psychopath, is actually according to many recounting of the homicidal nature of Queen Mary I of England, aka Bloody Mary. A fierce believer in Catholicism, her reign as queen from 1553 to 1558 was marked by the execution of hundreds of Protestants. Silver bells and cockle shells, in this understanding, are actually torture devices, not garden accountants. Number two, eeny meeny miny mo. Eeny meeny miny mo, which can be spelled. A number of ways is a children counting out rhyme used to select a person in games such as tag or for selecting various other things. The rhyme has existed in various forms well before 1820, but for those who don't know in the late 19th or 20th century version in the United States was explicitly racist. The southern word for a black person was put in place of the tiger. Number three, Rockabye Baby. Sometimes sung as Hushabye Baby in the treetop. Even if you didn't know the origins of the nursery rhyme, as a kid you should have been in awe about the ending of the rhyme. But one interpretation of this famous lullaby is that it is about the son of King James II of England and Mary of Modena. It is widely believed that the boy was not their son at all but a child who was brought into the birthing room and passed off as their own in order to ensure Roman Catholic heir to the throne. But just the lyrics alone to that nursery rhyme is chilling. Number four, Little Miss Muffet. The story of a little girl scared of a spider is based on an incident that would now involve social services. Dr. Thomas Muffet, who died in 1604, is believed to have crushed up spiders and fed them to the patients, including stepdaughter named Patience, to cure their elements. Number five, Ring Around a Rosy. Experts doubt the plague theory for this nursery rhyme, Ring Around a Rosy, is probably the most infamous. Though its lyrics and even the title have gone through some changes over the year, the most popular contention is that the sing Songy verse refers to the 1665 Great Plague of London. Rosie is the rash that covers the afflicted, the smell from which they attempted to cover up with pocket full of posies. The plague killed nearly 15% of the country's population, which makes the final verse, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Number six, Humpty Dumpty. I hate to disappoint everyone, but Humpty Dumpty was an egg, but actually a massive cannon that was hauled to the top of the wall and used by royalists against parliamentarians during the English Civil War. As the story goes, that a shot from the parliamentary cannon ended up hitting the wall that the cannon sat upon, and all the royalists, hence all the king's men, couldn't get the cannon slashed Humpty Dumpty back up on the wall again, or put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Number seven, Georgie Porgy. Georgie Porgy is the most often thought to refer to English courtier George Villiers, Duke of Buckingham, who was rumored to be King James the first lover. But most historians agree that the classic nursery rhyme Georgie Porgy is about Prince Regent George IV of Britain. Ridicule for his hefty weight, he had a reputation for lusting after food and women. Reportedly, he left a string of illegitimate children behind. Hence the reference to pudding, pie, and making the girls cry. 
Thanks for taking some time to check out my tutorial. Any links in this tutorial will be in the description below. Please make sure you like, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to check out the thumbnails at the end that will pertain to this type of content. So since this is what in the world of data, so what you didn't know, now you know.